Hello, this is Dale. I want to show you how I turned $25,000 into a quarter million dollars by trading credit spreads. I am the founder and chief trader at www.optionsinfinity.com. And I believe this is the best education option website available. I also release alerts when I see credit spreads that look like they have a good chance of being profitable. I've been a trader for over four decades, hedge fund manager, um, but I'm very proud of, of my website, www.optionsinfinity.com. I show you this slide just to reinforce the fact that, you know, a lot of people teach, but they haven't done. This is how I've made my living. I'm to the point in my career right now where I'm giving back to the community. I know how to do this. This is how I've made my money. And now I want to share this with other people that have a like interest. I've been publicly releasing trade alerts for greater than 10 years. And over that time period, we've had a 76% win rate, which is uh, extremely high. And the nice thing about these credit spreads is when we have a winner, we're earning more than when we have a losing trade. So when you do the math on this, this is a positive expectation trading strategy. Here I'm showing you my equity curve for the last 33 months. Um, I've been doing this for 10 years. Uh, past performance is no guarantee of future results. You can see we do have some losing trades. We do have some losing streaks, but in the long run, we have a very positive expectation equity curve. And this has resulted in this 33 months to be a 10X multiplier on your money. Uh, at this point in time, we have made a uh, thousand percent return on margin. But the beauty of this curve is that it pretty much goes straight up, even though we do have losers, even though we do have losing streaks. Using the 10x multiplier, you can use this for any size. You know, I'm talking today about a $25,000 account that went to a quarter million, but this strategy, you can, if you have a smaller portfolio, it's it's perfect for that. If you had a five thousand dollar portfolio in thirty three months, it would have been worth fifty thousand. Uh, it's also perfect for a larger portfolio. Uh, if you had invested a, a, a hundred thousand into this in that thirty three months, you would have made a little bit more than a million dollars. This is uh, extremely profitable. Uh, I've been voted by, by an independent source as one of the very best education and profitable websites as far as uh, option trading is concerned. Now, what does that look like over the last 32 months? Uh, which is approximately 680 trading days, a $25,000 account basically earns you about $2,000 a week, which is pretty doggone good. Uh, a $100,000 account would have earned you $7,500 a week. And, and, and you saw from the equity curve how this is pretty consistent. Uh, yeah, there's going to be times where you're not going to make that in a week, there's going to be other times when you make a little bit more than that, but this is the kind of potential that this trading strategy has. Now, I've never really 
touted the strategy, but I am getting to the point in my career, it's like, I really want to let people know that this works. This strategy works. And I want to make it available to as many people as possible. Now, these are some pretty heady numbers, and you're probably thinking, well, the strategy must be super complicated. Well, I've been doing this for a long time, and I believe in the KISS principle, keep it simple, stupid. And the strategy relies on just four key indicators with simple entry and exit rules. The strategy is simple. I've worked very hard to make it as simple as possible because I think if you've got a simple strategy, you're going to be able to execute it without second guessing yourself all the time. The strategy is simple, but it does take time to master it. The advantages of vertical credit spreads is there it's great returns when coupled with probabilistic approach. And what we do is we set up our vertical spreads that are very conservative. And usually this the strike price that we're selling has a probability of about 80% that it's going to expire worthless. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that's that's what we want because we are sellers of options. Credit spreads yield monthly income on a consistent basis. It's a high probability of success. We are sellers, okay? With options, you have two components. One is the intrinsic value. In other words, if it's if it's a if it's a ten dollar call and the price is already at twenty dollars, it has a value, a real value of ten dollars. But then the other part of that option price is time value. And the closer you get to expiration, the faster that time value decreases. That comes into our pockets. We are the sellers of premium. You don't have to constantly watch the market with credit spreads. It's a low anxiety trading strategy and you're protected against losses. This, this curve here shows the rapid decay of that time value, especially when you get closer to expiration. This is where we capture a lot of our profits. However, I'm never gonna let it go all the way to expiration. I take as little risk as possible. When we make a certain amount, I will exit. I want to talk a little bit about the protection from loss. With a vertical spread, what you want to think of is you're simply selling one and buying one. Okay. You make money on the one that you sell basically because of the time value. The one that you sell is called the short strike. But the potential loss can be unlimited unless you protect yourself. And what we do is we buy a long strike to protect ourselves. So the long strike makes you money when you pass that strike price. The difference between the two strikes is your maximum loss. If you were selling this strike price sh short or naked, then you have maximum exposure to risk. I don't trade that way. I don't want to do that. The four indicators that I use really tells it all. These are very powerful indicators. Regression channel. I was taught the regression channel way back when. I used to calculate these by hand. Nowadays, with platforms like Thinkorswim, they do this on a tick-by-tick -tick basis. Regression channels are very powerful to show you when the price is overbought or oversold. I like measured moves because when the price gets overbought, 
I'm looking for it to revert back to the mean, but I want to see a measured move before I go ahead and con and, and, and I'm convinced that the price is reverting back. And then I use Fibonacci extensions to tell me when enough profit is enough. And for exits, I'm looking at the five day and the eight day exponential moving average line crossover. Let me show you a couple examples. This is uh, an example of a bull put spread on the standard poor 500, the SPX. And you can see that the, this is the regression line. This is the plus or minus one standard deviation. This is plus or minus two standard deviations. 95% of all price will be contained within this channel. So you can see when it gets down around the minus two, it is oversold and it's time to revert back to the mean. Then what I'm looking for is I don't want to buy down here because it might continue down further as there are always outliers. I mean, statistics is just statistics. <laughs> Sometimes it, it, it does bust through this. However, it's very, very accurate. 95% is contained within this. A major move is basically a, a move up and then a move to a higher low and then a higher high. This is where I want to get in, right around here. Then I can put on Fibonacci numbers that say, well, when do I want to exit? Well, here's where I want to exit, right around here. The combination of the Fibonacci number and a plus two on the regression channel is shouting, it's time to take your profit. Don't be greedy. Now we put on a conservative trade. We put on this trade right here and we were, we bought we sold a 19 November 42.30 and bought a 42.20, 42.30 and 42.20. And you can see that that is way down here, way down here is where we're putting on our vertical spread. It's a very conservative trade. We get a net credit. We subtract the, the uh, buy from the sell, and that gives us a net credit of $2.05. This is the amount that you would collect if you sold naked, but you have unlimited risk exposure. And actually, you can make more money because the, the uh, brokerages will require exorbitant margin to protect themselves on naked sellers. And you also have to be at the very highest level uh, to do this kind of trade. I don't recommend this for anybody. So what we did is we held on to it and this is where we sold. It was actually six days later, six trading. Actually, it was, uh, let's see, uh, one, two, three, four trading days later. Uh, we bought it back, okay? We didn't let it go to all the way to expiration. We had this through to, to 19 November, but I sold it on October 20th. The only reason I'm going this far out is to get enough credit to make it worthwhile. So when we bought it back, we bought it back for 60 cents. So our net profit was $1.45 or $145 for one contract. Let's take a look at the other side of this. What happens when the market is going down? When the market is going down, we want to get a bear call spread. Here again, you can see that the price was up around the plus two. So you're starting to look for something that's reverting back to the mean. It reverts back to the mean here. It makes a measured move right here. And as soon as I get in, I know when I'm going to get out or if it makes a major move against me, I'm going to get out with a loss. So I know, I know exactly when I'm going to exit when I put the trade on. Here, what we did is we sold a 14 September 3590 and bought the 14 September September 3595. This was a weekly trade, so we had a shorter 
uh, distance between the two strike prices. So it gave us less of a credit, but in, in a very short time, uh, we were able to buy this back. I don't wanna let it go to all the way to expiration, buy it back for a nickel. Well, that was 82 cents profit or $82 per contract. You had 10 contracts, that's $820. 50 contracts is 4,100. This is a very, very, very powerful strategy. I'd like to teach you all how to do this. And I can, you can do this through becoming a member. Uh, go to www.optionsinfinity.com. Uh, join me. And uh, it's, it's a, you pay on a monthly basis. Uh, you can stop at any time. It's, a, it's recurring billing. Uh, you get once every two weeks, uh, I have a live webinar where I meet with the community, talk about the trades we have on, talk about how, how I'm managing them. We go over all the rules. It's a good, uh, a good education. I always bring in a topic to discuss. And then you have privy to when I see a trade that I'm taking, I alert you by text and email uh, of exactly what that position is. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this is a very simple strategy, but it takes a while to master it. So my recommendation really is that if just stick with me for a while, I mean, you're, you're earning while you're learning because I'm sending out the alerts, but I'm, what I want to do is teach you how to do this yourself. So I'm giving you an offer that if you stick with me for three months, I'm going to give you the fourth month for free. I'd like everybody to take advantage of this opportunity. I'm not going to be doing this much longer. This is not only what I believe, but what other people believe is a very strong, profitable strategy. Do yourself a favor. Go to www.optionsinfinity.com. Join me today. I look forward to seeing you in the meeting room. Bye-bye now.